just left the house. We're going on a road trip from Virginia to Florida. And this is our first time doing an Airbnb, which I am excited about. And I know we're a little late to the game. Typically when we've gone out of town in the past, we've stayed in resorts or we've been on cruises. And the few times when I think I considered getting an Airbnb, I kind of chickened out at the last minute because you have to pay up front. And even though you're able to cancel, a lot of times you have to cancel within like three or four days of coming. And even then, I think you only get back like 50%. So that's always made me a little nervous because I'm the type of person, even when I book a hotel, I like to keep searching. And sometimes if I find something that's better within, I don't know, two days of us leaving, I will cancel that one, go to the other one. So booking with an Airbnb, knowing that it would probably be hard to cancel or get my money back has always made me a little nervous. But we decided to give it a try this go around. And what's really cool about this place is that it's uh, like a golf community and they're condos. And when you look at the photos, it looks like a resort. They even have like a golf course. They have like this big, nice pool, tennis courts and all that. So I'm hoping that it has the resort feel, but I don't really know what to expect, but I am excited, so. Are we bringing our tennis rackets? We didn't bring our tennis rackets. Yeah, that kind of, well, we're only like, what? we're 10 minutes from the house. Do we buy, are we gonna play tennis? I guess that's the question. Yeah, it'd be nice to have. Well, then I guess we're going back to the house to get tennis rackets. So we just got to North Carolina. We're probably about two and a half hours into the trip and we're actually going to split it up. We're not driving straight through. So we'll spend the night somewhere. Don't really know where yet trying to see how far we can actually get. I haven't made any reservations. However, I did look at two hotels, one in Savannah, Georgia, and another one in Jacksonville. The goal is to get to Jacksonville. Hopefully that way tomorrow, we only have like maybe four hours. We just stopped in South Carolina, and this is actually my home state. I was born in Florence, not too far from here. I actually left when I was three, but even though, whenever we come through, like going to Florida to visit his family or coming here to visit my family, I always get like a little excitement whenever we hit like the state line. It's hot. It is hot out here. Doing his stretches. That's the limber. So it's day two, and yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. We stayed in a hotel overnight and tried to keep things as simple as possible. So only brought in the essentials, but it's about, we left about 9.45, I think a little before 10, and we have about five hours today. So hopefully, you know, we won't run into any issues. resort that we go to when we're in Orlando. So we just walked inside. It is humid in here. The air, I think it's on. This is like my first impression. So it's a studio. So it definitely, it looks like a hotel room. So that's cool. And it's two double beds, which is awesome because usually when we go out of town, we do have our own beds if possible. That way I can- She don't like sleeping with me. No, I can stretch out without having somebody complaining about my knees being in their back. Oh, that's right, there's a patio too. And it's screened in. Great, this is broke. Oh my goodness, look, look at him. 
He's breaking stuff. Look. It came off as soon as I pulled on the chain. You're paying for that. I'm interested to check out the bathroom because in the listing, it didn't have a lot of pictures of the bathroom. It only had a picture of the mirror and the shower curtains. So I was wondering like, are they hiding anything? But yeah, it looks, it looks nice. So far, I do like it. It's small, basically the size of a hotel room. And there's also a, a washer and dryer that I think we share with the adjoining unit that he's gonna go check out. Definitely close the door. So this is a washer and dryer. So this is cool. So we can do laundry. It's outside in like the hall area. Oh yeah, look at these blinds. So if you want the blinds like some partial light coming in, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Or you can even just kind of completely have it like blocked all the way. Right. I like it. So yeah, we'll see by the end of the week. Last night went pretty well. The beds in here are comfortable, which is something that's so important to me when we go places. So we were able to sleep well. And it's nice because even though we're surrounded by units, we have people on both sides of us. It was quiet. I didn't hear a peep out of anybody last night at all. You know, I do think we're going to be comfortable and happy here over the next few days. So this is really my first time out. We haven't been out that much since we've been here other than visiting family. So we found like this little river walk, boardwalk, and it's so relaxing. Even though it's thundering in the background, we gotta make this quick, but this feels so good. I'm actually looking for alligators. I really wanna see one. And my mother-in-law says that they have actually had some sightings in this river. So we'll see if I'm fortunate, maybe I'll see one. I like never walk with an umbrella, but the sun, it is crazy. Probably the first time we've come in the summer and probably, I wanna say maybe 12 or 13 years. So I actually forgot <laughs> why we don't travel here in August. That's Hubby and his mom. That's who we're down here visiting. He hasn't seen his family since December, 2019. So today is day six and it's our last full day here at our Airbnb. And I haven't really said much about the unit over the past two or three days because I really wanted to just kind of be in here, check it out, compare it to other accommodations that we've had in the past before really coming back with my final opinion about this experience. And I have to say, after six days of being here, I will definitely do this again. I'm actually kind of mad at myself for not going this route a lot sooner because I mean, the experience, it has been really nice. I do like the idea of having something that is, you know, more cost effective. You know, traveling, it can be expensive, especially when you're staying in a hotel or whatnot. And it's, it's just nice having someplace that's clean, that's comfortable. Now, one thing I will say, if I had a do-over, I would have definitely probably gone with maybe a full-size condo or apartment. When we were browsing the different listings and we came across this one, I will admit, I saw that $70 a night and I just immediately got excited and I just jumped at it. I'm like, okay, we have to do this. The price is perfect. But looking back, I think it probably would have made more sense for us to get something a little bit more spacious given the length of time that we were going to be here. As I mentioned earlier, this is a studio. So it's basically the size of a hotel, but it's inside a condo community. And for an overnight trip or maybe a weekend trip, I think a studio, perfect size, but for six or seven days, it would be nice to just kind of stretch out a little bit and not be so on top of each other. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the guy and all, but it would be nice to just kind of have a little bit more personal space where you know he can be in one room, I can be in another room, maybe we can have two bathrooms. So I really wish I had gone with something a little bit bigger. 
at the time the prices were about 110 125 a night for a full-size condo or apartment which is not bad at all and one benefit of also having like something bigger is you get a full-size kitchen which is something i definitely miss because when we stay at resorts a lot of times you know you have a whole kitchen so you can go to the store you can buy food you don't have to eat out three times a day which is something i don't particularly like to do and another thing i think i will do differently next time is that i will look around over a course of a couple of days before booking this go around we decided to do an airbnb we went on the site the same day and we also booked something on the same day and the reason is because this was my first time doing this so i didn't know how quickly units go and I know with a hotel sometimes you can take your time you may see something that you like and you can continue to look around and two days three days later those rooms might still be available I really didn't know if that was the case with this unit so when I saw it saw the price I was like yes let's just jump on it and you know go from there but again nothing against this unit i'm glad that this was my first experience because it was a nice one and yeah i will definitely be doing this again so that's pretty much all that i have for you guys we're going to be headed out tomorrow so unless something comes up that i want to share this is pretty much it so Thank you for watching this video. I really hope that you liked it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Here we talk a lot about personal finance, different ways that you can make better decisions with your money. So if you like videos like this, I do post every weekend and sometimes during the week. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in a few days.